Hi, this is David Harper of Bionic Turtle with a quick introduction to the three approaches to value at risk. They are one, Monte Carlo simulation, two, the non-parametric or historical simulation, and three, a parametric approach to value at risk or VAR. I like to tag these with post-it note reminders. Monte Carlo simulation is about imagining hypothetical future data. Non-parametric uses actual historical data and the parametric approach has no data. So specifically in the case of historical simulation this applies to either the asset or the portfolio. We take the historical returns and we sort them from worst in this case here these are losses to best in this case these are gains. Because this is historical data it's not necessarily smooth, it's messy. This distribution doesn't conform to a clean mathematical curve. The data is what it is. And then in value at risk we simply select a confidence level for example 95 percent such that 95 percent of the actual historical returns were better than that level and the other 5 percent were worse so we say on a historical basis we have 95 percent confidence that our losses won't be worse than this level. So the historical simulation is considered simple and easy to use. If we think about parametric approach it does not require all of the data that the historical simulation does. It may use the data, it probably uses data as an excuse to find a distribution. For example in this case we'll use the much maligned normal distribution that is elegant because once we've described the normal we only need two parameters a mean, that's the peak of this distribution, and a measure of dispersion, variance, or standard deviation. Armed with only those two parameters, we no longer need data to describe the distribution. We have a smooth curve. That's its strength and its weakness. And here, in the case of the parametric VAR, we do the same thing. We select a confidence level for example 95 percent but it's really up to us and then we look down the distribution and say well if this distribution is roughly accurate we can say with 95 percent confidence that losses won't exceed this level any losses will be here but also the value at risk tells us nothing about the losses in excess of this level it only tells us about this level here Finally, in the case of Monte Carlo simulation, we can think about this in much the same way as the historical simulation, the difference being instead of using the actual historical data, we're generating our own. So for example, given some engine or model specification about the performance of the asset or the portfolio, we can then run any number of trials. Here I only have a few, 40, Typically we run thousands, maybe millions of trials, and then we get a distribution, a simulated distribution of data, not actual distribution data this time, and we do much the same thing. If we want a 95% confidence, value at risk, we look down this list and find the quantile, the 95th percent quantile of where our data fell out, and we say on a simulated basis we have a 95 percent confidence that our loss won't exceed that level. Again it tells us little about losses in excess of that VAR. So in, a, in this case again VAR is really merely just a quantile meaning it's some percentile along the distribution of outcomes. And so you can see each of these approaches have in common that procedure 
that they're trying to identify the worst expected loss based on some confidence. But they have a different approach in, de in terms of how they describe the distribution of losses. Monte Carlo simulation simulates data. Historical simulation uses actual data. And the parametric approach probably uses data, but only as an excuse to generate a mathematical curve described by parameters. And then, based on a quantile, tries to identify the worst expected loss with some level of confidence. This is David Harper of the Bionic Turtle. Thanks for your time.